Cirque Colors is disappointing fans big time with their recent Lucky Bag sale. Let's talk about why. Our obsession with mystery bags and boxes has paid off. Many beauty brands now offer mystery options. Oftentimes these mystery options are discounted and they'll usually be made up of stock that was unsold previously. However, when a nail polish brand talks about a mystery bag, fans expect that there was an effort made to differentiate the products inside. No one expects to receive five of the same product, for example. While fans didn't get five of the exact same polish in each bag, they did receive identical bags. Which makes me wonder why Cirque Colors even bothered saying that you could buy two when clearly they could only sell you one without duplicates. And some people got duplicates in their one bag, so I don't know what they're doing over there. After going through my emails as well as the Cirque website, I did not find a mention of the We Makes Too Much sale being the only place they were pulling stock from for the mystery bags until I looked on Instagram and I found that they had actually answered a few questions about where they were getting their polishes from and that is where they explicitly stated that the polishes included in the mystery bags would be from the We Mix Too Much section. However, it's not stated anywhere else. It is interesting that they mentioned that it is a curated assortment because typically curation would mean that they were avoiding duplicates in the first place. Fans took to Facebook and Reddit to share their concerns and also to try and swap out some of the duplicates that they received. There in those groups is where we find that the colors people were receiving were pretty much the same. It's got the combination of like seven colors from their we mix too much section. Again, it makes sense. They want to get rid of some unsold stuff. But to get rid of multiples on the same customer seems uh, lazy at best and cynical at worst. Now for a lot of people, one or two duplicate products in their two mystery bags, as they were only allowed two per person, would be forgivable. However, with the mystery bags being the exact same with the exact same products inside, it feels more like, what, buy one get one free of the same colors? One might think this was a mistake, but several of these bag recipients went on to email the brand and were met with this response. There was no guarantee of unique bags, and duplicates were possible. And, cherry on top, no refunds. If you're one of the lucky few that didn't receive the exact same polishes in both bags, you might have received five polishes and one advent calendar. This was the 2022 Cirque Colors advent calendar. And if you're new to the brand, if you've never bought a polish from them before, it's a great introduction. Let's talk about the 2022 advent calendar for a second. This calendar was valued at $100 by Cirque Colors, and then it was sold at a discount for $75. Now this was the initial regular price. After about December 2022, beginning of 2023, the price dropped again to $50. Of course, it's last year's calendar. It's going to be a little cheaper. But then people started receiving the calendars in their $25 lucky bags. And a lot of the fans that did purchase the calendar felt that Maybe they should have just waited until it was 25 bucks. Now for the fans of advent calendars and any fans of Alexandra the advent calendar queen here on YouTube, I'm going to get into a little more depth about what this calendar's value was. So it's a 12 day calendar, okay fine, and it only had 8 mini polishes. Let me just give you a size comparison here. So full size Cirque Colors bottle, mini size Cirque Colors bottle. So there's technically no full-size product in the calendar, and there's no discount at the end either, which has become a bit of a practice with these. And Cirque Colors has enjoyed several years on top as a popular indie brand that's vegan, cruelty-free, and 10-free. It was founded by Annie Pham in 2012. If you were doing your nails in 2012, you might remember the crackle polish trend or neon animal print nails, metallic foil nails. But specialty polishes and indie brands were not as abundant as they are today. So really, you were counting on those bigger brands like OPI, Sally Hansen, Essie to give you cool polish, right? So when Annie Pham created Cirque Colors in 2012, 
she was actually filling a gap in the market. Now let's talk a little bit about their price point. Cirque Colors sells a regular creme color for $12.50. Now the indie brand price point will never be the low-end drugstore price point. Even Sally Hansen, which is still expensive for, for most casual nail polish users at $8 to $14 a bottle, it is still cheaper than your typical indie brand. However, when you're going outside of your local selections, it's usually because you're looking for something specific. Now I came up with a list of a few desirable traits that somebody might seek out in a polish that would make them leave the drugstore and go find it somewhere else. But Cirque is more known for a few of their specialty polishes rather than their regular cremes. In fact, some of their holy grail products would be their jellies and their magnetic line. Personally, I really enjoy both. But also, I'm not getting paid by them. So I can be honest with you, $12.50 is a lot, and not every polish is even $12.50. If you want a magnetic polish or just one of the newer collaborations on their site, it can be as much as $16.50. So, when you're the only one in the game, fine. When you're the best in the game, fine. But when other nail polish brands, indie or drugstore brands, are beating you on price and are relatively the same quality, who's gonna pay that amount of money? Who's gonna pay that? I don't know, it's just, it seems insane. But let's talk about the size. This bottle, if you haven't noticed, is a little small. This is an 11 milliliter bottle. Typically, your full-size nail polish bottle is going to be 15 milliliters of product. So I decided to go through my collection, grab some indie polishes and some drugstore brands, and find out exactly how much is in each one. When compared to other indie polishes, I was surprised to find that 11 milliliters isn't that far off from what's currently being sold. But KB Shimmer and Parrot Polish are 15 milliliter bottles. And now, I can just tell you that there's a few milliliters of difference in each bottle, but I think what really matters is how much are you paying per milliliter? Now let's look at the drugstore brands. Sally Henson. Comparatively, Sally Henson's kind of tough because of all of the different collections that they have, specifically about their finish or their type. So because I'm just looking at regular lacquer creme polishes, those are the prices I'm going to look at. And there are two that fall under this category from Sally Henson, and that's the Extreme Wear and InstaDry. I have both here. For Extreme Wear, 11.8 milliliters. And for the InstaDry, 9.17 milliliters. Let's actually see how much you're paying per milliliter. I'm going to put on the screen some math here and highlight the best ones. So I'll just tell you right now, KB Shimmer and Parrot Polish, I mean, bang for your buck. They're giving you 15 milliliters of polish and at 80 cents a milliliter, which is, it's still a lot because if you go to the drugstore brands, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Polish is the best value at 34 cents a milliliter. That's great. Now you might be thinking, okay, sure, that's how much liquid is in the bottle, but what does that mean for a manicure, right? How much am I using when I do all 10 nails? The FAQ found on the SE website says that one bottle lasts approximately 30 uses, which is all 10 fingers, two coats each. Now, Essie does note that there are colors that are more translucent, and for those colors, you will need more coats. Because that is going to vary by brand, I'm going to just do the math for two coats on all of them. You get 2.23 uses out of one milliliter of polish. It's not that surprising that the largest bottle with the most polish, Orly at 18 milliliters, has the most uses. 40 uses. So that means that's 40 times that you can get two coats on all 10 nails with that bottle. That's great. So a more helpful metric for us might be how much are you spending per manicure? Okay, I just did a lot of math and now I am sure that I can provide a more useful metric and accurate math. So let's go one by one starting with the indie brands, how much you're spending per manicure. Cirque Colors, you're spending 51 cents per manicure. Hello Taco, 45 cents per manicure. Mooncat, 49 cents per manicure. 
ILNP is 38 cents per manicure. KB Shimmer and Parrot Polish are both 36 cents per manicure. Now for the drugstore and big brands. Sally Hansen Extreme Wear is 15 cents a manicure. The Insta Dry Collection is 39 cents per manicure. Orly is 27 cents per manicure. OPI is 35 cents. And SE 34 cents per manicure. This is a good way of kind of breaking down how much you're spending and what the value per bottle per brand is, but not everyone is just looking for a deal, right? Otherwise you would get anything you needed from the dollar store. This is, oh, I don't know, nail polish is hard. Nail polish is like, it's crazy. Nail I, did, I love talking about it. I don't know, it's a very special interest of mine. I enjoy it very much. Um, I should not probably do it as often as I do in a room with closed doors and unopened windows, but I'm sure that has nothing to do with why I am the way that I am. Truly, I think now we need to take into account that not all of these polishes, even though they are lacquer, creme, are going to be fully opaque in one coat. That's actually a really strong feature that brands will charge more for. Hollow Taco releasing one coat black and not milky white was huge. I mean, for me specifically, that's how I got into indie brands because I was tired of going into like CVS or Walmart and just grabbing whatever black polish. And it was usually like Sally Henson or just some other, just the cheapest one. I could go, I go to the dollar store for nail polish. All right. I don't know. I don't always pay 16 bucks for nail polish, whatever. And it would be like chipping in two seconds or just like the most transparent black. Okay. But now you have the numbers. You can look at them for yourself. Let's talk about who's got the best value. Sally Hansen beats everybody out of the water. And of course, they're the bigger player in the game. They've got the most resources. They have that bulk advantage, right? But they're a big player in the mastiche market. So not prestige, right? And not necessarily lower and cheaper, kind of somewhere in the middle. And they occupy that space well. Now, we found out the price per manicure when you're using two coats only of these polishes. So when you think about something like a magnetic polish that needs four coats, you're cutting the bottle's use in half. And then if you have a bottle that dries up when it gets down to halfway, as a lot of nail polish does, again, you've cut your usability in half. So that's why I love renewing nail polish thinners, which you have to match the ingredients to make sure you don't ruin it. but. Y'all should use nail polish thinner. Okay, but the reason why Cirque Colors even exists is because it's not Sally Hansen, right? It's an independent brand. It's got more control over the kinds of collections they release. They don't have to necessarily go with the most popular trends of the time. They can kind of set trends if they wanted to. So let's look at what these brands offer that Cirque Colors doesn't. I specifically compared offerings found from Sally Hansen, Orly, KB Shimmer, and Parrot Polish and genuinely, <laughs> everything that Cirque Colors has or is, like vegan, cruelty-free, ten-free, is the same with all of these other brands. So even somebody that only uses cruelty-free polishes doesn't just have to shop indie brands anymore, right? What I'm trying to say is that like, when you are not the best value or even on par with the average value in your field, your competitors have, they have to be significantly different in some other way, right? So you have to have the best quality or the coolest polish. And as of, I don't know, five years ago, it's just not the same. Cert Colors isn't putting it out like it used to. There's just so many more indie brands that are doing the same thing and it's as good or better, right? Something that Cirque Colors doesn't have that Orly and Sally Hansen both have are breathable collections. And that just refers to the water being able to pass through the polish, which makes them halal. And even lines that are specifically chip resistant, long lasting, a part of a system. All of these features can be found from other brands now. So finally, I want to address how Cirque Colors has handled the complaint so far. Longtime fans and new customers alike have been met with the same too bad response from Cirque Colors. And when they have two of the exact same packages in their hands 
and they're wondering why that's super weird that the only response is like because we can that's so that's so cynical i <laughs> it just leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth and sure the community can swap amongst themselves and sell them right but the community is also not extremely brand loyal People jump from polished brand to polished brand largely because you can find a lot of these same features from each brand. And the only differences would really be what collections are available at one time. So right back to seasonal colors or specialty polishes, specialty polishes in specific colors, right? There are smaller indie brands that only release a certain number per collection, so all of them are limited edition. but. There's also an element of sustainability where they only manufacture the same amount of product that they that is being sold, right? And likely some customer service holdbacks. Now, if you're wondering how easy or how hard is it to put together a mystery pack with different products, right? It's a, it's not that hard, right? Mystery bags and boxes have now been a thing for probably a decade right as least as popular as they have been and the way that they're put together it really it's not in the warehouse all right the warehouse receives specific packing orders so they're not doing any random pulling of product because first executives really people in charge of sales decisions they have to select which stock they're going to choose from because it's not going to include everything they've ever sold unless they specify and from that selected stock they simply create groups, A, B, C, of either all the same color or type of polish or, you know, just one of each polish in the collection. And then they just put together groups without repeating them, like A, B, C instead of A, B, B. So this has been well established for some time. And that's how customers know that this is either... Um, a lazy oversight or a brand intentionally ridding themselves of multiple of the same products that did not initially sell. I just... Doesn't that sound like rude? <laughs> These are people that have been buying with Cirque Colors for a long time. These polishes have been expensive for a long time and people have found ways to justify it in the past and now they're like actually never mind <laughs> like, it's of course they are if customer service had had a different type of response i think this could have been avoided and it might sound lame to just be like give them a discount but at this point offering a refund i'm not sure how possible it is for people who've already let's say like given the products to other people right or open them up maybe a refund in good faith i.e. you keep the product, we refund you because we sent you two of the exact same thing, that might be good. Or even 20 to 25% off, right? A coupon. It's still not going to make people say, oh my god, I'm in love with Cirque Colors again. But this is a gesture because the, <laughs> the incident was very... Cynical is the best word I have for it. How in the world are you justifying sending people the exact same thing <laughs> in two different packages that you specified? You're only allowed to even order two of these mystery bags. I don't know. People, people loved your brand and now they have so many more reasons to just go buy from somebody else. What are you doing now that's different from anyone else? That's what we're asking. So that's why Cirque Colors has really disappointed longtime fans and Probably new customers too, hearing about this. So in conclusion, indie brands have been pushing the envelope for years and likely they've changed the industry for the better because they're pushing every brand in front of them to do something different now, to go beyond what they know to be popular, beyond the best selling colors, right? To start trends rather than follow them. But I think the key difference between a bigger brand like Sally Hansen and an indie brand is that it can't be a race to the bottom. They're never going to be a lower price point than a big brand. And that's just because Sally Hansen has everything in place to make their nail polish as cheaply as possible. But a smaller brand, part of the attraction to indies is that they are manufacturing on a smaller scale, better for the environment, more sustainable, and likely less waste. So 
that's another big draw of buying something that is a little more expensive, but better for the environment. Bees Knees Lacquer is actually an indie brand that I've been meaning to try and I'm really excited to based on some swatch photos. And it's taken me a while because their collections only drop at certain times, right? And their website isn't really like open all the time to sell you things. And they only manufacture enough polish to fulfill the orders that they get at that time. So I'm really interested in that. I think that if we're going to put our money where our mouth is, put your money where your mouth is, if, if you want to hold yourself to your principles and spend a little more money to get something that is sustainably made, then it's a great idea to shop indie brands. But again, there's so many indie brands doing that now that are also sustainable that aren't selling 11 milliliters of polish for like, anywhere from 1250 to 1650. I'm just saying. So, I'm back because I had to buy two lucky bags for myself to see if I got any duplicates. Now, I'm not doing this to be a hater, right? This is honestly for me to see what would happen if I ordered it, right? Like, I'm probably one of hundreds of thousands that bought this, maybe tens of thousands. And I don't think this video would have been complete without me trying to see for myself. This is the package. Um, I think based on the size, we know that there is not an advent calendar in here. Um, the bags themselves, it said on the website, wouldn't be packaged like a bag. You're not really getting anything inside of something cool, right? They're just kind of giving you either five polishes or one advent calendar from what we've seen. I'm going to open it up on camera because I don't want people to think I'm out here lying on Cirque Color's name. Push through. Okay. So I can see some polishes wrapped here. Here on the packing slip, they don't even tell you what colors you got. Keeping the mystery alive. Okay, so this is two polishes probably wrapped together. Don't know what this is because it's a totally different shape than what two polishes would be. All right, so these two were packed together. And if they're, bo if they're both duplicates, it's kind of going to be like, it's going to hurt my heart a little bit, but... You know, this video is made because it ha it's happening to a lot of people. So I'll just... oh, oh my god, what, am I dumb? That was four polishes and I thought it was like, oh, this is the size of two polishes. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys the color names. Yep. Okay, so there's actually duplicates just within these four polishes, if you can see. So there's two emerald that were packed together. And then klepto and sachet. S sending four polishes in the same material, uh, you might have been able to catch that there was a duplicate color in there, right? So out of four polishes, I only have three colors so far. Now, these guys. Let's check this out. Probably also four polishes. <coughs> I was thinking like this, but it's more like this. Okay. Four more polishes. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited about having all these duplicates. Yay. Oh, Christ. Okay, guys. So this is another duplicate packed in the same package, right? So this is two magnetics links, which I mean, for how much magnetic co magnetics cost? Not too shabby. Okay, and then Klepto, which was also in the first package, and Sachet, which was in the first package. I did this to see if it would happen, and it did happen. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm one, of the, one of the lucky many. <laughs> the unlucky many. Whatever. And now this strange square. There might be two more polishes, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is ten polishes total. And in the last one is two polishes that are exactly the same. What? 
Did y'all see that? So this is two of the exact same polish. Shaka. It's a yellow that was included in a lot of uh, these lucky bags. So let's look at what we have here. We have two links. We have two sachets. Two shakas. Two kleptos. And two emeralds. Oh, okay. So even though they were packaged separately and within each package there was at least one duplicate, I did end up receiving five colors in ten bottles. Maybe... I mean, maybe I will love them enough to go through two bottles, right? And maybe there are people that are very pleased with these choices for them. I do have to say, though, given that these are colors that have been repeated in many other bags, I'm a little concerned that they didn't just limit it to one bag and then tell people that the only way to avoid duplicates is by purchasing one bag, right? And if you ask me, if they really wanted to get rid of this many polishes on one customer, they could have simply said, buy one, get one free. Um, this isn't something that customers wanted or needed, and considering that there are many other indie brands to choose from for a mystery bag, I don't see why somebody would go to Cirque Colors again after this. So you've definitely seen the I tried it so you don't have to kind of thing. Listen, I bought a lucky bag. I bought two lucky bags so you don't have to. And if you were wondering, maybe does it happen to everybody? Does it happen to like 70% of people? Guys, like, it happened to the person who decided to make a video about it. So, I mean, if you desperately want two of these colors, which is like purple, red, green magnetic, green sparkle, yellow, then this is the best day of your life, right? In fact, if anybody would like any of my duplicates, I'm very happy to send them off because this was simply in the name of science. Nail polish science. So what I am attempting to convey here is that your brand's value has everything to do with how you treat your customers. And when you assume that your customers are um, idiots who will simply take whatever you give them, they will start to feel bad about it. Just, just an observation as someone with multiple advertising degrees. But uh, who, who am I to tell you how to run a business, Sir Colors? I've just been buying your expensive polish for a few years now. So for anyone wondering why would someone who cares so much about receiving duplicates in what is essentially a gamble, right? Like a grab bag gamble. I think that you should consider that no one has to keep buying from this brand and they're not particularly unique anymore. So why would you continue? Anyway. I don't hate the colors or anything. In fact, if I had ordered one and received these five colors, that would have been fine. But considering the way that they were packaged together, if I had ordered one bag, I still would have received duplicates, even though they had five different colors, at least, to send. I feel that they could have done better. Other brands have done better. So it's disappointing. It is disappointing. Given the number of unique combinations of 10 they could have made from 38 colors, I'm just very confused why people are receiving so many duplicates, even if they only ordered one bag. So just my two cents, just my 1250.